Now, everybody is a fan of Federico Chiesa, and for good reason. The Italian starlet shocked the world with his exploits in the recent 2020 Euros, where he led his nation to victory. Explosive, skillful, and daring, Chiesa is everything you want to see in a modern winger, and the Juventus man, at only 23 years old, has the world at his feet. Of course, the more popular you become, the more people want to know from you, right? And on this video, we're going to tell you five things things you didn't know about Federico Chiesa. But before we do this, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything we offer on our channel. And just like Chiesa's take-ons, let's get straight to the point. 1. His father was a professional footballer If you've only met Chiesa because of his recent performances in the Euros, then perhaps you didn't know he has football running through his veins. His father, Enrico, was a professional football player and spent his entire career career in Serie A, in their home country of Italy. And while Enrico never made it in one of the top three teams of the league, Juventus, Inter Milan or AC Milan, he managed to have a very decent career and reached his peak in the late 90s with Parma, winning the 1999 UEFA Cup alongside the likes of Hernan Crespo, Juan Sebastian Veron, Lillian Turam and Gianluigi Buffon. It's also worth pointing out that Enrico Chiesa was the tournament's top scorer with eight goals. Goals. A talented and fast-paced goalscorer, you can see in him some of the traits that his son Federico has. And for good reason, as Enrico always supported his son to achieve his dreams of becoming a professional football player and coached him at home so he could get the insights of someone who was once a top player. It all stays in the family in the Chiesa household, it seems. Number 2. He once thought about quitting football It may sound crazy now because of what he's become, but there was a time where Chiesa almost decided to stop playing football. Federico was formed in the Fiorentina Academy, where his father played during his days as a footballer. But by the time little Federico reached puberty, he was struggling to develop physically, and that hurt his playing time in those key years for a player's growth. For two or three years, I really struggled to get any playing time, as my physique wasn't as well developed as others my age. Chiesa said many years later. When you're 14 or 15 years old, it feels like this desperate disappointment. I thought many times about giving up, but my family always believed, and ultimately so did I. When I wasn't playing, I'd try to think, I'll play the next one. Working hard in training really paid off. It's the push that got me to Serie A, and now has me trying to improve week by week. It's safe to say that Chiesa has lived up to his word. Number 3. His idol is Cristiano Ronaldo. Very few people can meet their idol in sports, let alone play with them. Well, Federico Chiesa has managed to do both in spades. One of his greatest inspirations in football was Cristiano Ronaldo, who certainly motivated during those complicated teenage years where he was struggling on the physical department. And the Portuguese's constant desire for improvement was the kind of example that young Federico needed to finally fulfill his potential. It's the same attitude as Cristiano Ronaldo. He doesn't have the talent of Lionel Messi, but has won the same number of Ballon d'Or trophies, Chiesa said. An exemplary professional like him proves if you want to reach the top and stay there, focusing on every tiny detail is crucial. And while they might be very different in terms of playing style, we can't deny that both Chiesa and Ronaldo have that sheer determination and willingness to make a difference in every single game. Game. Number 4. A Phenomenal English Speaker Chiesa not only gained people's attention in the Euros because of his outstanding performances, but he also managed to impress in post-match interviews due to his amazing English. You know, I, I cannot describe it in words, and uh, the feeling was just amazing. Not bad, huh? Well, it turns out that despite having lived his entire life in Italy, Federico Chiesa is a fluent English speaker due to his background in playing video games, and most importantly, for having been enrolled in the International School of Florence while he was in the Primavera levels of Fiorentina's academy. This would prove to be monumental for Chiesa as he took several English lessons, which helped him perfect his pronunciation and ability to speak the language. Not only an amazing player, but also quite the polyglot. Another point for good Federico. Number 5. He went to college. It's become a lot more common nowadays to see a young football player taking a college education to prepare
prepare themselves for the future when they can no longer perform on the pitch. And Federico Chiesa is another example of that trend, having gone back to college when he was still a Fiorentina player. While there's no information on the internet of which college he chose, it has been documented that he spent two years in it and he was studying sports science, clearly implying that he wants to stay connected to the game after he retires. And while this is only inference, it was worth pointing out that his father, who he is very close to, probably advised him to do so in order to prepare for his upcoming retirement, as Enrico would be quite aware of that. Regardless, it's a good example of how Federico has a good head on his shoulders, and the kind of commitment and dis- For our video today, if you made it all the way to here, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and please give the video a thumbs up. We can't wait to see you in the next video.